Hello, hello, it's Victoria Gibson from fbadqueen.com and today I wanted to take another opportunity to run through with you a really powerful kind of Facebook ad that is super simple to set up and it results in you getting a lot better engagement and interaction on your page, cheaper ad costs and also um, you know, much better response to your ads and um, much better click-through rates. So I want you to make sure that you are testing out these page post ads as an option because they're a really powerful tool for your business um, in whether you're promoting a product or a service whatever it is, maybe you've got a special event on, a webinar um, or something like that that you'd like to uh, to communicate, this is a really, really good way to do this. So if you've already got a Facebook page, here's mine here, you're, you should be um, is <laughs> posting regularly on Facebook. Um, you know, I, I like to post at least sort of once, twice a day if possible, um, trying to give out as much content and value as possible. As you can see there, lots of posts. Now sometimes some of these um, these posts that I have may have a link back to a product or a service that perhaps I want to get noticed or I'm, I need this for one of my clients. So in that instance, I want to get a better reach with my message or perhaps I've got, um, I want to do some more Facebook advertising but I don't have a custom tab set up for that specific message. So as you know, custom tabs are these tabs that we have alongside the top here um, with content that we can get opt-ins from, etc. So a quick way to start promoting something is to use page post ads. And I want to show you how to do that. So if you've got, um, you know, you've got a message that you want to start, uh, start getting out there, about a product, service, event, or you know some some other um, promotion, craft your post here. So write the post down um, and make sure that it's like ninety characters or less, if possible. So at least just a couple of lines. So it might be something like, "Have you seen um, you know the latest timeline covers? Um, I can help you create." some great ones too. I, I'm just making this up. This isn't, you know, brilliant. So it, I just type that in and perhaps I have a landing page off Facebook or maybe I do have a tab here that I want to include. What I can do is put a link to that there and that will come up with an image in the post. But what I like even more is to add a photo or a video in this post first and keep in mind the photo should be about 404 pixels by 404 pixels, so a square. You can have it a bit smaller than that if you want, but to make most of the real estate, do it 404 pixels by 404. I upload that here by selecting photo. And then, and then add, once the photo's been updated, add the link to wherever you want the traffic to go. So make sure you put that link in here. So you do it with the HTTP as well. So I might say fbadqueen.com. And then I'm just going to select here to upload my photo um, from, I won't do it right now, but I might upload the photo um, from a file on my computer. And then, and then I just press post. So once I've done that, my po it will not only just post on my page, like say this one has, um, what I can do is also now I will be able to create an ad of that post. So let's take a look at exactly how to do that. So I've showed you how to create the post and the considerations you need to pay attention to to make sure that it's a good ad. Those considerations are that you include an image and you include a link. So you need to upload the image or the video first then just put your link underneath uh, your copy. Your copy should be less than 90 characters if you want it all to be written, uh, or, or, all to be written, all to be included in your page post ad. Otherwise it will just have a little, it will be shortened and there'll be a dot, dot, dot. So the first sentence needs to make sense on its own. So just keep that in mind. Post that on your page, then go to your ads manager um, and I'll show you one we might have been doing for another page we just, it will give you, so you select the page that you want to select there, then you select that you want to promote a specific post and then you can, what you can do is you can just select um, 
that you, you can have this on autopilot almost in that you can have it that it's always promoting your most recent post. So if you're going to be, you know, doing that all the time or posting content that is going to make good ads all the time, you can just leave it on autopilot there. But we don't want to do that because not all posts are going to work that well for you. So um, you can come in and select your own, own ones here. Now this is actually... Um, an ad of a link so it still creates its own picture on Facebook and people can click straight through to that link otherwise the other option like I talked about was um, was uh, creating it to a custom landing tab so adding an image on here and then putting some information here so when people click on this I'll show you what it means so this is um, promoting a, an e-course on a tab so if we click on here, it's going to hopefully show us the preview. It will show us the post. So what it does is it takes the user to the post. So they see the image. Now that image is a bit small. It would be better if it was the 404. But you can give them the message about the course or what you want them to do, what action you want them to take. And then, and then there's a link in there too. So you can see then people can interact with this too and ask a question. Like someone said, oh, this is exactly what I want. Thank you for sending it to me. So then, you know, things like that, you know, make make for better engagement. They can like your page from there as well, but also they can go to the link. But the real benefit becomes that they see a much bigger ad. The ad is this big instead of half the size. And if you get some really nice high impact images, that can make a big difference. Um, so we might even show what I was just talking about on my own page. Um, a specific post so we might so we could you know show a link if we did a blog post that was just a quick tip so that's not worth doing an ad for um, but we might want to uh, look at um, something like let me just put it on here this is this is another one that's got a link I want to show more an image so something like um, my free cheat sheet where I want to get people coming along and um, you know, registering for my free cheat sheet so they get something of value for free um, and I can keep communicating with them. The other element is that it shows the interaction with the post that's happened. So it looks like a more organic part of Facebook and that they're more likely to want to uh, engage with. Um, the only, you know, one of the downsides is they can't click like to like your page straight off the, off the ad they do have to go through to the post to increase the engagement. So if you just put that there that you want to promote that post, don't worry about the URL tags. You can put your website in there if you want. Do your normal targeting here um, to hopefully target people who are not connected already to your page so you're reaching a new audience. And then you might want to make sure that you're selecting here to, for people to click on your advert or sponsored story. Don't leave it at like or otherwise Facebook automatically just puts it on um, the display method of bidding, which is the cost per impressions. And then you're paying whether your ad gets clicked on or not. You want this to be displaying. You only want to pay when somebody clicks on your ad. So you put your budget in and then you can put in your bidding. Um, so you always bid within the suggested bid range to start and then you can pull back from there. But um, I just wanted to share with you how these ads are really worth testing because not as many people are using them. I'm sure this will change, but it's a great way to get some good interaction happening um, on your page, but also getting through coming through to your website too, because don't forget you can post links to your site that are on your page. So you're getting that good sort of cross visitation um, of users and non-users. So you can obviously be posting things on Facebook for free and not creating an ad and still um, hope that they get shared and, and you get more users to your page. But ads are going to do that at a much, much faster rate. So I hope that's helped you. Um, definitely give page post ads a try. They're different to promoted posts. Um, I'll go into promoted posts in another blog post. Um, it is currently on my blog. You can go and search for promoted posts. And I think a couple of weeks ago, I ran through that for you as well. So anyway, it's great talking to you and um, hope to hear from you soon. Take care. Bye.